what is going on you beautiful human being welcome back to my channel today we're reacting to undead unluck episode 5 this should be really good as always if you like my channel hit the like button maybe even consider subscribing obviously that goes with the notification bell so hit that bell but without further ado let's jump straight into the episode let's go all right so gina just died and which i said oh, oh her emblem something i was saying was that i was kind of sad when gina died even though she's a bad person but i kind of feel like she was a cool character in many ways wow that water i mean that vodka she always had a death wish that she'd be better off dead wow so basically did he fulfill a promise like he says it was a joke but did that not manifest itself eventually <laughs> and no one else suffers so this is what her plan is to change the union because they're gonna be in the union now so like i was saying the last time how is this gonna play out because remember, you have to kill other... What do they call them? UMAs, right? <gasps> Isn't this Shen? Did you see above on the roof? Oh! I've come to pick you up. Oh, so they can all travel like that. It's not just Shen. Oh my goodness. This is... They're gonna get recruited now. Oh my goodness, look at them. Whoa. Wow, they look cool. Like, I saw it for a split second. But some of the people sitting at the table, the character designs look really good. Jewess. Shen, we know Shen. Who's this? Billy. Full. They got such basic names. Tatiana is another bot. Ishin. Top, Nico, Unluck, and <laughs> what was the name, man? It's like Izuko. I think they never ever say her name though. That's Tatiana. No, he killed Miss Gina. What? Which one is the boss, though? Is it her? Okay, so this is a day after. Apocalypse. Apocalypse. This is so strange how all of this goes down. I didn't think it was going to be like, you know, spell casting and stuff like that. Because, I mean, this is a grimoire at least. That's what it looks like. The UMA Burn. Edition of the 11th Seat. That was a lot right now, but it's sort of, it's giving me an idea of how the powers actually work. Galaxy. You see, that's the thing that's kind of strange. The people's powers are encompassing things, you know, like past. Like, how is the person's ability the past? Like, can they meddle with the past? Obviously, you get unburn and, like, unspoil. Those seem very simple, but there's some stuff that it's like, what? And the other one was cool like it's still a little bit confusing to me how the powers are the powers you know it's like undead unburn unspoiled like what is it hasn't really clicked to me yet okay so they did mention artifacts and they're trying to find them so that's one of the artifacts they're not gonna care what she says though like how long have they been involved in this 98 times interesting whoa this it's like i was not expecting this Oh, 
Oh my gosh, the god residing on the other end is killed. Whoa, this anime took a big turn. The law is super interesting. If you become number one, wow. Oh my gosh, what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, crazy. So he's going for the strongest guy called Spoil. Wow, that just took a big turn. That took a big turn. I was not expecting that. Oh, now they're getting the outfits on. Oh, this was, what was his name? Mui. Yeah. Fuko Izumo. <laughs> I'm useless. But it was interesting when she was talking about... Oh my gosh, did they just touch? In a volcano, probably. <laughs> of course he's gonna be naked but what i was saying is that it's just interesting how she was talking about like the sickness and stuff like 98 times 98 laws have been added to earth and like sickness is one and someone is doing this and that's who they're trying to stop so i'm guessing what does spoil do you can spoil things make things rot essentially wait what Yume number 1129 has escaped. Common Yume. But he doesn't have clothes though. Oh, broken neck. Deadpool. <laughs> Oh yeah, right. They just wear those Deadpool masks. Wow, he finished him in one shot. Oh, not Mui. Oh my goodness, she's Jack. You see, like, that is such a confusing ability, you know? First they said he changes into the clothes. Now it's like he's completely taking over the body. <laughs> it's freaking useless. Oh my goodness, what is she gonna do? Isn't that gonna kill her? Oh! Oh! Oh, he's gonna jump. prefers female targets but if he touches her he's gonna get it oh <laughs> i could count on you Oh, because he wants to be naked. <laughs> oh, it didn't hit yet. I thought that was the lava. Unless there was an, a time that they touched off to that. Oh my gosh, now is he gonna be like a part of him now? What? That is, look at his design, is completely different now, it's crazy. So now they get points for doing that. A rotting corpse wandering the streets of New York, that must be spoil. Whoa! <laughs> 
<laughs> and once again, of course, just crazy. That's the thing about the show. It keeps hitting you with the right hook, left hook, right hook, left hook. Information, information, information. There are some times where I kind of feel a little bit like overwhelmed, even just in that small segment. Look, we're on episode five, right? And there's been so much information that's been pushed. So it's, it is really like confusing at, at some points. They were mentioning something about the fact that their job as the union is to stop powerful people from creating certain laws and that something about the person who has the place of god as she said on the other side is who they're gonna kill because there's been 98 laws that have been passed and then she was mentioning things like race and time and sickness so it's like their whole world the whole reality that they live in is very different I was not expecting that at all and even just the abilities it's not just on the nose as you would expect with normal powers and stuff it's actually very complex powers and even with this guy called him 1129 his ability to take form of the clothes you desire I, I, I could even pretend to understand what they were talking about over there you know then Andy was able to make him a servant somehow because he wasn't able to transform into the clothes that he wants and if i'm not mistaken clothes was that to be able to be ripped apart and then come back because that's what always happens to him he always loses his clothes so that's the type of clothes he desires but he looked super cool like you know he had this, like this dark shadow on the shoulder and this like cool suit so they've joined the union now and you can already see that fuko izuma izumo i'm just gonna call her fuko she's already trying to make a change and then she found out now how you can make a change is you become number one you become number one by gaining points you gain points by taking those quests and so andy obviously decided to choose the biggest quest which is spoiled which he said was like a or they said was like a zombie walking around i think they said new york or something very interesting very cool i'm amped to see where the show goes though it's very early right it's only five episodes in so to me honestly it looks like one of those shows that's only going to be 10 episodes a season could be wrong though but anyways really good episode we uncovered a lot more i'll have to like re-watch it back to actually really try to pick up everything again but that's going to be it for me if you're watching thanks for watching also hit the like button if you enjoyed it maybe consider even subscribing with the notification bell on why not why not be alerted when i drop an episode i'll leave the last episode up over here i'm out peace in a bit